Okay, that is really hot. Woo! Hey everyone, Joel Hans here, and today we are here for a very deathly spicy sushi challenge. Yes, that's right, a spicy sushi challenge here at 312, 312 Fish Market. So what's really cool about 312 Fish Market is it's actually located in the 88 market. So 312, in fact, is actually taken North America by storm. This place is now renowned across America for offering some of the freshest and a very, very exquisite high-end, high-quality sushi experience at a very affordable and kind of hidden gem location, being in a market. So undoubtedly, I gotta try a couple of items here. Like I said, the items are coming in fresh from like Japan, Hawaii, etc. Um, they have uni, like things that I've never tried before. So I'm gonna try a very high-end, top-tier uh, sushi experience before we actually get into the spicy sushi challenge. But yeah, so the video will start with the challenge and then I'll cut to uh, where I actually get to try, enjoy um, some of the most exquisite sushi that I'll ever have in my life. So ultimately, let's get eating. All right, everyone, so here we are with the sushi rolls, so level one, two, and three. So on this one with the Mad Dog 357, which is a very, very hot sauce, we have the Chicago Fire Roll. So this is traditionally just right off the menu, uh, which sounds really good. We have a spicy tuna in there. We also have a spicy shrimp on top. Then with the Pucker Butt Carolina Reaper sauce, which yes, Carolina Reapers, we have uh, what is essentially kind of like a salmon, salmon avocado roll, and then it has scallops on top. You can see the hot sauce also on top there. And last but not least, one I am definitely, definitely scared for, with the wallet tataki, we also have a, a yellowtail in here as well, Hawaiian yellowtail. And then here we have a little bit of the Mad Dog. This is the Mad Dog Plutonium. I actually have the box right here, which has so many warnings on it that it's not even funny like extreme heat level, warning, do not consume directly, food additive only. It is just like, it is just crazy. This bottle contains the purest, hottest, most concentrated pepper extract currently available. Use at your own pleasure and at your own risk. This stuff is literally pure uh, capsation. It's basically pepper spray. So this is gonna be very, very interesting. I don't know, we'll call this the walk of fire per se. Um, but that's about that. So wish me luck. I'm gonna try not to die. And uh, I hope to see you guys at the end of this video. Hopefully I can make it through at least a little bit of this sushi. So it should be really, really interesting. So ultimately, let's get started. <laughs> All right, so let's get started. This is gonna be really interesting, but let's go. Again, I do like spicy tuna. I like spicy shrimp. So wish me luck. Let's hope I don't burn too bad on this walk of fire. So cheers. Not spicy. This is bad. If this is already spicy, woo! I mean, besides everything burning, my it tastes delicious. Woo! So it's actually good measure. Woo! Shout out the soy. The soy tastes really good. I, I'm actually like legitimately scared. That was I'm dying. And the, this is gonna get worse. Okay, this is the Pucker Butt Reaper. I 
I'm, I'm actually legitimately scared right now. But uh, I'm gonna use this soy. It makes it taste good. Yes. Wish me luck. Hey everyone, welcome to this video where today we're here at 312 Fish Market doing the Crazy Spicy Sushi Challenge. So just going to give you a little bit of info as uh, I'll definitely let it play through uh, without a lot of voiceover. Um, there was no time limit on the, limit on the challenge um, and you literally have what is undoubtedly some of the spiciest sushis on earth featuring the Mad Dog Plutonium. You can also order these normally off the menu at any point. So if you're a chili head who likes sushi, this is definitely a place for you. I'll have some more info for you here momentarily, but the goal is just to eat. Just get through the rolls and let's see what happens. Ah, uh, okay. That is really hot. Woo! At least I can, uh... At least I can eat the sushi. Uh, at least I can eat the sushi quick, though. Woo! I have the real wasabi here. I feel bad wasting it, but I definitely can't. Ugh. I definitely don't need it. Oh man. Oh. All right. I need like a, a second to recoup my thoughts. So my mouth is burning on the inside and the outside. My tongue. I guess the better thing is with the chopsticks, I'm not touching with my hands. All right, here we go. Things about to get interesting. Uh, 
So with that everybody, I hope you enjoyed the challenge. It was definitely a very spicy, very difficult one. Um, you know, definitely I will say, you know, the restaurant, I mean, with that plutonium, how concentrated that stuff is, I mean, even just the little dabs, the little, little dabs that they, you know, put in there, you know, I'm sure they kind of went easy on me in a way, um, was just so spicy. I mean, I could only imagine if someone was to put a dollop or a big drop of that onto something. Um, but overall, the, the food was really, really delicious. I did enjoy the taste of it besides the burning, um, and we're going to have more tastes coming your way. Just don't do it. Don't do it. If you've ever eaten something super spicy like this, it's like hard to concentrate, it's hard to think, it was difficult to breathe, it was just a lot, a lot happening at once. This is really good. <laughs> you said you eat the whole box, you said uh, you're gonna eat it. Alright. I think I can talk, I couldn't talk there for a little bit. That was spicy. But luckily before this... Uh, luckily before this I gotta try some other items. Everything was fantastic. Lucky for this, I find the spice is kind of like moving. As long as I breathe, I can talk. The ice cream is really good. <laughs> and the ginger is really good. So 312. I definitely recommend checking out 302. Guys, fish market here is absolutely fantastic. The quality of sushi is just great. The flavors of these two are really good. By the time I got to this one, I was burning a little bit, but it was absolutely fantastic. Definitely, like I said, I gotta try some other items here which were absolutely beyond, like it was the best sushi experience I've ever had. This was at beyond delectable. Definitely revolutionizing supermarket sushi, but then everybody, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. This stuff is absolute death. I know they didn't put too much on there, and like, I, you just, which is a good, I wouldn't have lived. But uh, and everybody, until next time, of course, happy, like you're happy eating. Definitely, like I said, come on by if you're in Chicago. If you're not even in Chicago, definitely come here. This was fantastic. Thoroughly enjoyed it. The staff were great. The food is great. Maybe I'll be able to maybe I'll be able to try something else a little after. But oh. and a cow pico. There's a this is like a it was like a yogurtish drink. So thanks so much, everybody. Hope you enjoyed. Yeah, all right, I'm starting to come back. That was a lot of like mental just focus, but like I said, any more of that for Tony, so I don't see anybody can eat that, but. Like I said, everybody, tonight, I'm happy like happy eating. Hope you enjoyed it. Ooh. Until next time. Have a lovely day. Flashback. All right, but of course, you cannot come to one of Chicago's top rated and booming sushi bars without trying a lot of items like some of the like top tier items and what is so cool about this place is like i said you're actually getting a top tier sushi experience in a market so i'm actually here with joe joe's actually the head chef here um so he basically set up what is undoubtedly probably going to be the best the absolute best sushi spread i've ever had in my life we have items from japan we have hawaii this just looks exquisite all right joe so walk us through what we have right here so what we have here is uh well Walu Kataki. 
So the oil is from Hawaii, and since it has a little bit of fat, we put made a different kind of spice in it. It's a Szechuan peppercorn, close to cumin, close to fennel, sugar, and salt. Man, this looks so good, and it just smells like. This is a time I really wish again. smell vision was a thing. So Walu Tataki from Hawaii, and they're literally shipping everything here in here daily. They are cutting the fish themselves. It's absolutely insane. All right, now this, this is a tray worth mentioning. What do I have here, my friend? So we have Kimidai from Japan. What that is also from Japan. Hamachi belly, salmon belly. This is our marinated salmon. We have squid, we have chutoro, we have uni from Hokkaido, wagyu, the minced toro, otoro, Amberjack. Amazing. So for those of you who are not familiar with a lot of those, uni, sea urchin, all the way coming from Japan. We also have a Japanese A5 Wagyu. That's right, like the legit A5 ribeye Wagyu. This is basically like beef butter. I'm so excited for that. We have like the uh, fatty tuna. I love, love, love fatty tuna. We also then have like the salmon belly here. Um, we have everything. I'm so excited. I gotta watch them literally butcher like most of these fish in front of me. So we're gonna dive into this, give it a bit of a taste before we actually get into the crazy, deathly, spicy sushi challenge. So this I'm excited for. The sushi challenge, I might not be feeling so excited about, but this I'm so excited for. So Joe, anything else I need to know about 312 and these delicious items in front of me? A lot of fishes we pair with plenty of different things. So with a lot of white fishes, we kind of want a little bit of citrus to brighten it up. Sometimes a lot of the bellies, there's uh, salt for texture. So this one's uh, like a, I mean, a lot of places they use a yuzu kosho, but what I do instead is that I do a lime jalapeno kosho. And nice. instead, that is a blood orange professional kosho. It's not as spicy, but the blood orange brings out the really good sweetness. The belly, we do different kinds of salt. We have like, the hamaki belly, we have a ichibi salt. Because uh, you want a little bit of heat to cut into that fatness of the belly. But then, on the salmon belly, we do a slightly different salt. We do a Szechuan pepper salt. So Woo! we brown that down a little bit and a little bit of heat. That sounds delicious. Enjoy, man. Thank You're making me hungry, bro. Hey, Joe says he's getting hungry. I am as well. So ultimately, let's get started here. Again, this is just a taste before I burn. But this is going to be great. So uh, this is my, actually this my first time having uni. No so way, really? I'm really excited. So what, here, actually, you know what? Show me the best way to have a couple of these bites, my friend. All right, so a let's say them, start with the, the a A5. Lot, a lot of them are actually already pre-seasoned. That's really just eat it the way it is. Just Some of them, instead of soy sauce, I would put salt. Because I want the salt because of I want, I want the texture of it. The salt, the texture of the salt. Yep. The texture of the salt helps grind down the fatness of the fish. So that okay. the more you bite into it, the more fatness comes out. Interesting. So actually like putting on salt for texture, not just taste. Mm -hmm. Alright, so I'm going to have this Wagyu, which I love. Just pop it in my mouth. Words can't describe. A5 is just like, it's like butter. It's like eating delicious beef butter. Dude, that was fantastic. All right. I know, I know you gotta get back to work. Yep. But, uh, uh, I just gotta enjoy the rest. I will go with the lighter fishes first. All right. To the, and then into the Let's do it right here. Uh, kimidai. Kimidai? Yep. Japan. Just by itself? Just by itself. I already see them. Because the yuzu kosho is like a yuzu pepper paste, it has a little bit of salt. So it's yeah. That flavor! Can you said a little like citrus kind of? Yes. Mm. Uh, lime. Lime zest. Woo! So, kosho is, yuzu kosho is like um, fermented pepper paste. But, but they use the citrus from the. They use the acid from the citrus to ferment the peppers. So, kosho is the fermented yeah. pepper paste, so you said? It's basically. Which one? What's this one? Blood orange kosho. Uh, oh. Madai. Madai? Yeah, Madai. Oh, man, that orange. Taste that orange, right? That orange with that, that fish. Oh, the fish is just so delicate. Man, that's beautiful. All right, I'm sorry, but at this point, you can't actually try this. This would be, all right. Well, Hungry, man. Yeah, this is, I'm sorry, man. All right, what do I have here? Amachi belly. Nice. Got a little good old belly. Ooh. You get that texture of that salt? Great texture of the salt. Kind of a little bit of like extra fattiness to that belly. The more you chew, the more you bite, the salt helps grind up more fat. The oil comes out, more good. Yeah. 
That's awesome. All right, Sam Belly. Sam Belly with a Szechuan pepper. With a Szechuan pepper corn. So it's not that bad. At least not yet. Yeah. Oh, great flavor. Oh man. Ooh. That's a floral. Man, buttery, rich. So, oh my gosh. Dude, if that's what your salmon tastes like, I'm gonna have to try something else after. This is crazy. I'm well, just like- Well, you try another salmon next. This one? Yeah. All right. That's the uh, Marinara salmon. We Mar marinated it three days in a shiitake mushroom soy. Shiitake mushroom soy marinated salmon. Dude, what are you doing to me? Lots of flavor in there. How like- That's why you don't need soy sauce. I don't. How is this possible? Man, I have had sushi, but this is like, this is nuts. Like, every bite is such a freaking mouth, like, flavor. Should I try some wasabi on it? If you like wasabi, I say go for it. Because our wasabi is, uh, it has a nice floral flavor. It's not, it's not the burn kind of flavor. It's more of a earthy kind of flavor. Yeah. You get slight heat, but then you get that floral earthy. It kicks. It kicks. Woo! He took a whole bunch. You know but, how, little, how little I put? <laughs> See how little I put? But it tastes delicious. Yeah, you can taste the difference. It kicks though. It's real. It's all right. I'm just preparing myself for later. A little less. Oh, good idea. Yeah, a little less. Good. All right, all right, all right. All right, what, this is Inca? Yep, got it. So we got some squid? What do you have on the squid? Well, what we do with squid is we slice it a certain way so that the texture of it, when you bite into it, it's not as chewy. So you cut like with a grain or something like that? Like, there is something but technically it's great, great Ooh! Yeah, it's, it's tender and yeah. soft. That is the softest, best squid I've ever had. I've had Inca before. Do you it's chewy? No. That's beautiful. All right, this is? Chitoro. Medium fatty bluefin. Medium blue fatty bluefin. A little bit of wasabi on it? Just a little bit. This is tuna, fatty tuna is one of my favorite, like a red fin tuna. And actually, you guys often sometimes bring in the great big tunas. Oh, uh, yes, we do. And you like literally, Cut them. So I work the cut and put it up. Oh man. This is like melt in your freaking mouth. Damn. So which one's the favorite one then? Like so far? I don't think I can pick one so far. But I'm not through them yet. You're right, you're right. So Alright, should I should I try the uni next or what should I hop on to? I think you should hop on to the hot What do we have on top of here? Yoga. Ginger butt. And where's this one? Where's this fish coming from? I'm packing it actually from Hawaii. Ooh. So a little bit of ginger. A little bit of ginger. It's not the that kind of ginger. It's more like the flower. You call it ginger bud, right? Ginger bud. Yeah. So what it looks like is it takes the yoga. It's gonna grab a ginger bud. The t the taste I would say, or the way I describe it, is it like it gives you a little light ginger aspect but it's so light that it just really complements the fish. It's not overpowering or anything like that. Oh wow, I have never seen that before. Yeah, not a lot of fish here in this one. It's rare. We really wanna bring stuff in so that people can try. Yeah, so he was saying that like, yeah, I don't know if you heard that, but basically he was saying that they're bringing in a little more, uh, less common things, familiar things for people to try. And that works beautifully on that fish. Yeah, it does. That's a different set to it. Yeah. Very different than actually. Yeah, like very light ginger aspect to it. Alright, what should I try next, brother? I say uni. The uni? Alright, should I just eat it as it is? Alright, my first time having uni, everybody. The renowned Japanese uni that I will not drop on the floor. I'm very excited. I've never had it. I heard it's like rich, creamy. Oh, yeah, you got it. First time? Whoa, I was not expecting that. How do I describe that? It's like, I don't even know. It's like, it's, yeah, it's, it's creamy. It's, it's soft, it's creamy, it's rich. Yeah. A little bit of rich tasting. You got like a nice kind of seafood flavor too, obviously. It tastes like the ocean. You know what almost reminds me? Yeah, it tastes like the ocean. You know, almost, you know like how durian's kind of creamy? Ah, yeah, yeah. I almost get a little bit of like durian texture, like not taste, but texture. Just like really rich, nice, creamy. Dude, uni. I tried uni, everybody. Pass it off my bucket list. I've eaten a sea urchin. All the way from Japan. Yep. 
Have a right. I don't even have to go. I just got to come to Chicago. 312. It's a place to be. Woo! Man. That's like, it's still like coated my palate. That is so, yeah, uni. I see why people like that. It's like an experience. Alright, what do I have next, my friend? Next, you can try the egg bar. It's, um, it's a tuna belly, but we mince it up. So a minced tuna belly? Minced tuna belly with a uh, scallion. So we get the fresh parts of the skin. The green part of the scallion is uh, fresh, and then we pick up the white part. And then that white part gives a, um, a slight acidity for the fatness of the tuna. So a little pickled, a little knot. It's a great taste of that tuna. You do get like that nice scallion flavor, kind of that freshness. I do get a little bit of acidity as well. Kind of goes really well with that fat pairing. But yeah, that's delicious. And last, the fatty tuna, right? Yep, got it. Oh, Toro. Just look at it. Look at the freaking marbling, beautiful nature. This is the equivalent of like tuna A5. And that's the thing, you know what I'm saying? That's good with the food. Oh, woo -wee. Man, that is so sweet. Fatty, savory. Oh my gosh. Like the A5 better or the... Oh man. Otoro. I might as well go the Otoro. Like both are fantastic, but that Otoro, we've never had it again. 10 out of freaking 10. All right, that blew my freaking mind. I see why again, you guys have taken the city by storm. What do I have here now? Oh yeah, this is the tataki, right? This is the tataki. Usually we have this as the appetizer. This is that's close enough to an appetizer. All right, so just appetizer for your next meal. Appetizer for your next meal. Just try it as is. A little bit spicy. Yep. Has really nice texture. Really nice uh, like bite to it. I really get. Did you say it's a Szechuan chili? Szechuan pepper with close to cumin, close to fennel. I really get that cumin coming through. A little bit of Szechuan pepper. Great pairing. That is like. Did you come up with this? It's fresh, it's sweet. There's so many like complex flavors going on. Well, one I think why we're in the market. Every time I'm bored, I can just walk around the market and then whatever nice things I see, I can always do r and I can always set up. So you just like, right as you go. Uh, yeah, sometimes there's really interesting things in the market. Like the blood orange I saw one day. I was like, these oranges are amazing. I gotta do something with them, you know? Same thing with the pepper thigh. I gotta do something with these special pepper. Dude, that was, that last bite with a little more of that wasabi, doing like a little out like floor aspect, that was like, that was 10 out of 10. I am like, compliments to the chef. Compliments to the chef. So that was fantastic. Um, now, the show goes on. Let's get to some more uh, interesting stuff. But seriously, Joe, thank you so much for walking me through that. That was like an exquisite, exquisite experience. This was beyond fantastic. I'm so glad I got to try all these items. Um, Thank you, my friend. All right. Thank you. Thank and I may be requesting slightly more, a few more of those like bites of those other items as well. That Otoro and stuff was fantastic. But nonetheless, that was amazing. So thank you so much, my friend. And that, everybody, until next time, definitely come check out 312 Fish Market here in Chicago. Just outside Chinatown. Really lovely place. So that, everybody, until next time, have a your happy eating. Thanks so much. Hope you enjoyed. That was it. Amazing, amazing experience. Don't miss out. Come by and have a lovely day. Dang now cat, you're going to be down the menu next week if you don't shut up. So there everybody, thanks so much for watching the video, I hope you enjoyed. Click my face right here to subscribe, and also I picked two videos, that's right, two videos just for you that you might like, right here. So like I said guys, hit that subscribe, hit one of these videos, do it right now, until next time, have a lovely day.